If you've been hanging around on this channel for long enough, you'll know that I've been using this particular mouse for an extended period of time. In fact, you probably have seen a video in which I actually dismantled it to fix something on the inside. Well, this mouse has lasted me for an unreasonably long amount of time, which is why when it actually started having a little bit of problems again, I decided I was just going to go get a new one. Now, you know what my purchasing habits are like. I just pick the cheapest item and try to make the best out of it. And this time round, it's no exception. That is how I ended up with this very fanciful looking chrome mouse. Well, let's take out some time to actually review this device and yeah, see if it's actually worth your money. You're watching another Random Wednesday episode on 0612 TV. Hello and welcome back to the brightly lit table of reviewing justice. As mentioned today, we're going to be taking a look at this extremely fanciful looking mouse. But before we do that, let us first take a look at the box of the product itself. So this device we're going to be looking at today is called the Chrome Shark. And it is actually made by a brand called Moral Logic, which appears to actually be linked to the company Sonic Gear. So I'm not sure if you can see the fine prints here. But it's actually linked to Sonic Gear. Sonic Gear produces things like earphones and headphones, and they are not too bad of a brand. So I went into this, you know, with not so much of an expectation, but some kind of knowledge that this shouldn't be too bad. As you can see, I got it for pretty cheap. As mentioned, it is the cheapest mouse in the entire store. So yeah, let's actually take a look at, you know, what are the things they promise. First, free mouse mat, which I do indeed have. Right here, it's a pretty nifty looking thing, and as it says, it is actually extremely smooth. But I will talk about smoothness as we go along. So yes, there isn't too much on the side except all the window it is actually compatible with. I found that quite funny. And yeah, apparently it comes with warranty as well, which I have not attempted to register for. Its specifications is what actually really interested me, because, well, they claim to have done some serious testing on this product. Basically, based on all these claims here, the product is supposedly of very high quality, very durable, very resilient. So yeah, only time will tell. On the side of the box, there is more text about you know the quality and durability of this product. So yeah, that's basically all the promises we have on the box itself. Let's see if the actual product holds up. And here is the product itself. As you can see, it is entirely chrome, and I'm trying very hard not to touch the chrome surface because the moment you do it, you leave fingerprints on it, and it looks much less pretty. But yeah, it is a very pretty looking product, but well, the aesthetics aside, it is just your plain run-of-the-mill mouse. As you can hear, I've accidentally clicked the buttons already. They're very nice and clicky. Scroll wheel, you know, as well as middle click, and yeah, Nothing too special in terms of functionality. So let's talk about the elephant in the room by actually addressing the chrome surface. As you can see, it looks extremely pretty. After you hold on to it for just a short while, well, it becomes less pretty. See, the moment I've just touched it a little, you can see some amount of, I guess, fingerprints. You can actually wipe this off and it looks as nice as ever. But if you don't, it will actually get darker and darker the surface will get more and more smudged. And yeah, it looks considerably less pretty after that. Also, it might just be me and my sweaty palms, but after some amount of usage, I guess something rubs off from the surface and you actually get a bit of a metallic smell on your fingers. So yeah, it looks nice, but I wouldn't say it's a very practical thing to do to chrome the entire surface of a mouse. Just one more note about the looks of this mouse before we move on. This is actually just one of many colors as you can see from the box itself, all the color schemes of the mouse mats, in which there are five here, do actually correspond to color schemes of the mouse. Which is why I got the yellow mouse pad, because, well, this is the yellow mouse. So yeah, if you're interested in something that actually looks nice, then yeah, this looks really good on your desk. But alright, that aside, let us actually talk about, you know, the practical use of this mouse itself. As the box actually says, this is an ambidextrous mouse which you can tell from its very symmetrical shape. 
and when used with the official mouse pad, actually glides around very very smoothly. When paired together, this mouse is just an absolute joy to use because of just how smoothly it moves. I guess this is because this mouse is actually equipped with these Teflon foot pads according to the box. You know, normally it would be some kind of rubber, but yeah, this really reduces a lot of the friction that you normally get with mice. The mouse itself is very light and relatively compact, you can see it is quite thin. So if you ever plan to actually, you know, bring this out, this is a good choice. It is quite cheap as well, so you don't have to worry too much about damage. Also with regard to clicks, this mouse gives off nice satisfying clicks, as you can hear. Of course, these are actually a little bit loud in real life, so yeah, that's a little bit of a downside to it, but I wouldn't consider it a major issue. Okay, so those were the advantages, let's look at some disadvantages of this mouse. First of all, well, the entire surface, including the clicky bits, is actually one entire connected piece. What this means is you can actually trigger clicks pretty low down. See? So the issue with this is that, you know, sometimes when you're holding it, the part of your palm here may accidentally just right click and actually hold it down. And you're wondering, hey, why is, you know, my mouse cursor permanently in a right click state? It's because you've actually held it down. It's not an issue that comes up very often. And as you get used to using this, you know, it sort of does go away. But yeah, there is this risk. And it's really the same kind of risk that is present in any mouse that has a contiguous surface like this one has. In addition, originally when I first got this mouse, I felt that the scroll wheel was actually very stiff. After just a few hours of use, it actually did loosen up a little. So now it's extremely flexible and, you know, like you would expect. But yeah, when you first get it, you might have to, you know, scroll a little and try to loosen it up. I did also have problems when using this mouse without the mouse pad itself. In fact, on this very surface, I found that some small movements were actually not well registered by the mouse. So if you wanted to make a very precise click and drag movement, you would realize that you actually had to go a certain way before the dragging begins. This does not happen, however, when you use the official mouse pad. So yeah, I do recommend you use this, it feels really really good, so there's no reason why you shouldn't. I don't think it's a problem with this surface itself because I've used, you know, other optical mice on this surface without having any issues, so it could just be the sensor. But whatever it is, just use it with the mouse pad, you'll be fine. So yeah, essentially that's it. There isn't a whole lot to say about, you know, a very simple mouse like this. I would say in terms of practical performance, this mouse is very good. You know, it's not 100% perfect, but it is pretty good, especially given its low price point. Sure, you'll probably be able to find, you know, cheaper mice online, but for a mouse that is this good looking, well, this isn't too unreasonable of a price to ask. Like I said, the aesthetics of this mouse is pretty great. If you're not too worried about, you know, the leeching of that metallic smell on your fingers, if you're not too worried about, you know, gunking it up and making it look less interesting, then yeah, there's no reason not to actually pick this mouse. Having said that, well, the sort of metallic smell, as I've mentioned a couple of times, is a little bit worrying. I'm wondering, you know, what exactly it is that's coming off. But yeah, hopefully this will stop happening after a few weeks of use, you know, maybe after all of that stuff has actually rubbed off. I've been using this for several days, it has held up very well. And even though I did make the surface extremely, you know, blurry from all the holding, I was actually able to get it back to a pretty clean state after just grabbing a piece of tissue paper and running it over. So yeah, relatively cheap purchase, very interesting look and a pretty practically usable product. Definitely check it out if you are in need of a new mouse but don't want to spend too much money. Once again, the packaging looks like this. It is called the Chrome Shark by a company called Moral Logic. That's all there is for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of my previous reviews. 
If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.